Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing good. Today's Sunday the 13th and as you know the truckers rolled the 11th, 12th, and 13th and it was exciting. It certainly was. You're not going to find much out there in mainstream media. They didn't want to cover it and we can understand that. We certainly can. However, many good people out here on YouTube are putting out some videos that are well worth your time. You might want to check them out. One in particular, General Lee, who was right there in the middle of it. I'm going to put his link right down below. Mudbuster45 also has it on his channel. You might want to check it there. But it's well worth the look. You want to check it out. And you might want to have a tissue because it's a tearjerker. I'll tell you, I was impressed. Hammer and I stayed with it the whole time. We listened to the Pet Pete Santilli show, and we stayed in the chat, and we watched what the truckers were doing, and it was quite exciting. It really was. The support from the American people is phenomenal. You know, during Saturday's uh, movement, it seems the EBT cards or SNAP cards quit working, and that's the food stamps, guys. Uh, for many Americans that have been put in a position where they have to have them, the economy did that, our government did that. They're not to be faulted, like I've said before. Anyway, it seems the cards quit working. Perfect timing, I'd say, because they opened them back up and According to what Barbara brought to my attention, there's supposed to be some data bank, some special place. What did they call it? Uh, they called it, well, gosh, I lost my place in it. Can't find it now. But they said that there is a specific place, a building, a bank, where they handle these things. And, uh, oh, here it is. Powell said Oklahoma Xerox representative told them that the problem stemmed from a power failure at a da data center. Data center. And power had been restored quickly. It just takes a while to reboot these systems, she said, adding that she did not know where the data center was located. Well, it seems a lot of people have been investigating this, and nobody knows where that center is. So, the amazing thing, the, the thing that kind of gets your attention is that on the 13th, the last day of the movement, when nobody's supposed to be out spending any money, not cooperating or, or participating in the system, not getting any tax money out there, people got their cards back and they went and maxed them out, spent every cent. In Ohio, the stores were packed with people because they panicked. They were afraid if they didn't get it all spent right now while those cards were working, they'd be turned off again. Pretty tricky, if you ask me. We're pretty easy to uh, manipulate, I think, when it comes to things like money and making ends meet. You know, friends, what I've learned from this is that we need to unite. We certainly do. And there's a lot of us. In this movement today, the police were backing down. It was absolutely breathtaking. I saw it with my own two eyes. And uh, officers getting out of their cars and giving the trucks a thumbs up. Saluting the trucks. It was, uh, it was something to see. For those of you that didn't follow it and didn't stay with it, uh, you missed out on something. You know, somewhere along the way, we need to become convicted to either good or bad. 
You know, you can become convicted to the way the system's working, or is not working, I should say. Settle in and just accept it, and watch your lives go down the tubes. Watch your freedoms be taken away. Watch the Constitution be replaced by Obama's very own 2300-page new Constitution. Yes, friends. Yes, friends. Ob the Obama administration has proposed a 2300-page new Constitution to replace our Constitution. And just like the Obamacare, it's written in a way that people cannot understand it. They really can't. They're, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going to put a link down below. You guys go read it. Check it out yourself. I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm here to share truth. And the truth is America's in trouble. We certainly are. It's time to unite. It's time to get informed. It's time to become educated on what's taking place. We have got to get Obama out of office. We certainly do. And believe me, friends, if we don't, we're in deep, deep trouble. That is a fact. It's not just emotions. It's not just thoughts. This is based on actual facts. It's based on every one of the executive orders that he implemented, that he drew up and he signed into being. Go Google executive orders. Read them for yourself. Take time to look into this new constitution of Obama's. Absolutely. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to the truckers. You don't have to listen to the veterans. You just need to check it out yourself. We have a system that's very corrupt right now. And it's up to us, we the people, to get this fixed. The truckers have opened the door, as did the veterans. They stood up for what they knew was right. They will not accept the corruption. They will not accept this administration destroying our constitutional rights, our Constitution, or our freedoms. Now, for you mothers and fathers and grandparents, I ask you to look at those children. Look at the children in your home. Are you going to be prepared to tell them, gosh, I could have done something, but nah, I didn't want to get involved. So, sorry. Personally, I'm not prepared to say that. I want these children to have every freedom that I had, and if not more. We have too many laws on the book as it is. They should not have control over every aspect of our lives. They should not control whether we're taking fluoride in our bodies or not, or breathing in whatever we're breathing in from the chemtrails. Pardon me, guys, contrails that last for a long time and create clouds and our man-made. Yeah. They should not be controlling whether we are eating GMOs. We shouldn't even have those issues. So it's time for change. It certainly is. And friends, about those EBT cards and spending all your money on Sunday, the last day of the movement, the day that we weren't or during the movement when we weren't supposed to participate or spend. It's not your fault. Somebody had a greater plan. They knew they could get us to spend. They certainly did. All they had to do was create fear. And it worked. I would highly suggest that every American that's on food stamps and or disability checks or social security try and find a way if you have any way to do so to emancipate yourself from the system 
find a way where you, should the system fail you, should the cards quit working, should the checks not come in, just in case, have a backup plan. Have a way of protecting your family and supplying for them. I love you all. Great big hugs. And I'll catch you guys later.